Song Zuying, who has been called the reigning queen of Chinese folk song, kicked off a U.S. concert tour on February 16th at New York's Radio City Music Hall. The crowd's love for the renowned soprano was evident, as many of the 6,000 who packed the venerable hall for the two-hour show joined in. Song, a member of the Miao ethnic minority, has strengthened her international reputation by performing at major venues, including the Radio City, the Sydney Opera House, and London's Royal Albert Hall. The Radio City concert featured 20 traditional Chinese folk songs, including "Jasmine Flower," "Spy Sister," and "Our Love for China." And even though Song performed in Chinese, it was clear that her music has the ability to touch Americans, even those who may not understand Chinese. Lisa Robb, executive director of New York State Council on the Arts, who came to watch Song's performance, said language isn't a barrier at all. But I don't think it's a barrier to appreciation. Traditional arts tend to be ones that are, you know, very much from a、um, kind of a grassroots or a kind of a local community perspective. And I think that those kind of things really don't vary very much between cultures. They're very similar. Song's concert tour is part of Cultures of China Festival of Spring celebration that has been presented annually since 2009 by the Overseas Chinese Affairs Office of the State Council to welcome the Chinese Lunar New Year. The cultural communication between U.S. and China was the essential feature of the concert. And I hope the U.S. audience will have a better understanding of China's long musical history after Song Ziying's performance. I believe the audience can feel the charm of Song and the striking features of Chinese national vocal music through her confident, peaceful, friendly, and sweet voice. Next up on Song's U.S. concert tour are Washington D.C. and Los Angeles. The tour wraps up in San Francisco on March 3rd. Zhang Yuwei, China Daily, New York.